it was just very, very frightening just that it could have been us. A family originally from Terre Haute says they're lucky to be alive. Good afternoon to you. I'm Susan Dinkle. It's Wednesday, August 7th. A family of seven, originally from right here in the Wabash Valley, was on lockdown last weekend during the El Paso, Texas shooting. In our top story for you this afternoon, News 10's Jada Huddleston joins us to explain more about what was running through their minds as chaos broke out. Julie Curtis, her husband, and five children live in El Paso, Texas. They were out shopping last weekend at a local mall when a gunman entered Walmart just across the parking lot. That gunman killed 22 people and injured dozens more. Curtis says the only thing on her mind was keeping her children safe. Julie Curtis and her family have lived in El Paso, Texas for nearly two years. On Saturday, they were out shopping for school supplies. In a matter of minutes, everything changed. And he's like, you, you know, you guys need to get to the back of the store. They're saying there's a gunman in the mall. Um, people were running and screaming and saying that they had heard shots fired in the mall. Many stores in the area were put on lockdown. Curtis says she was in the employee bathroom with her children and eight other people. But she only had one thing on her mind. The only thing I could think of is if this person or people make it back this way, what am I going to do to protect my kids? After nearly 40 minutes, the SWAT team cleared each store and let the Curtis family go. Curtis says she never imagined she'd be in a situation like this. You hear about it and you just, you know, you never think it could happen to me or my family. You're just like, oh my gosh, I feel for the people that are in those situations, but you never expect to be in the situation yourself. Curtis says it was a simple decision to go to the mall for school supplies instead of Walmart that could have kept her family alive. Let's just let him pick out a backpack at Walmart. You know, those things went through my mind and... For some reason, I was like, you know what, I, I'm just going to grab coffee creamer while we're at Walmart, too. So let's just go grab that backpack as yours, and I'll, I'll get this later. Definitely feel like either we had an angel looking out for us or that God was watching over us. Coming up at the top of the hour, you'll hear more from Curtis and how her family is moving forward.